Hey, this is Tim Pierce. Greg Saran and I have been friends for a long time. Greg plays with a lot of people, but he tours with Joe Walsh as the second guitar player and with Don Felder as the second guitar player. So you can imagine these guys trust him to be the other guitar player on stage with them. And he plays with a lot of other people too. We're gonna go over kind of what it's like to make parts for songs. Click the link below if you wanna check out the nine video series on this and all the other, there's hundreds of, of guitar training videos in the masterclass. Let's do it. did a couple of really great things. You chose an arpeggiate, and this is something, this is this was your first take. Yeah. I played the right, chords, right, this was yeah. your first take. Right, right. So do you remember? Yeah, I, I, I definitely knew that I, knew that I wanted like a Lydian thing. Yeah. Uh, which maybe was not where the song was headed originally, but I was like, let's no, see where that great. goes. No, it was yeah. great. Yeah, so I went. I mean, it sounded like a song. Great dissonance. Yeah, like you know that. Having that sharp four in there is like yeah. to me. There's a lot of possibilities in that. But that's the other thing. Yeah. You wrote a composition instantly, and that's that's that, that's a strength, and that's that's a great thing for a for being in a professional situation and right. coming up with a part. That's what we've had to do. We've had to absolutely, come up with parts. Absolutely. And I knew I wanted to get the, the, the major seventh involved at some point, so that... But the other thing about that, that's the other thing I was going to mention. mention. So that sort of resembled soloing, but it wasn't soloing. It was you were creating lines. Oh, and really? a line is what people want in their song. Right. They want a line, right. you know. Yeah. Well, I have to, to, I have to give you full credit. That that kind of phrasing, I kind of ripped off from you. I, and I heard you do. Now I don't know if I'm sure you'll this will be familiar to you, but yeah. you'll you'll do a lick like this a lot, like in a solo. You, yeah. Well, you go. You do a little shake on the seventh. Yeah, I've heard you do that, and I it just something yeah. like my ear went oh. Yeah, that's 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 beautiful. So I will Over find Over what myself, chord would that be? Um, you know, let's say just an F. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, like on a G, right? So yeah. Okay, so for that. Yeah, but I get, yeah, I, I guess you both do. I mean, we're getting a little bit of soloing, I guess, there. But in a, in a way, though, that could be a, a great way to start a solo too. I suppose yeah. you could yeah. build on that yeah. and then get you know start you know going higher in the register and then maybe faster phrasing. Uh, you and I met. Was it the late nineties? A little later than that. It would have been two thousand two, beginning of two thousand two. Yeah, I remember it very well, actually. Can you tell me? Yeah, about so, it? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you don't, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't remember you at all. Um, <laughs> um, well, I remembered you. Uh, so I just had moved to L.A. Uh, it was in January of 2002. So re really it was, what boy, jeez, uh, 15 years ago. Okay. And uh, I was living in Chicago, born and raised in Chicago, was playing yeah. music and playing in bands. And I had a band of my own that had a record deal and... 
basically everything had fallen apart in my life in terms of like my girlfriend left me. Uh, That's all coming back to me because we did get to know each other pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my band, I was playing in this band for a while called Sunny Day Real Estate, which was kind of a well-known um, kind of emo, sort of like early emo band from Seattle. Uh, I had a band before that called Cupcakes that had a record deal on DreamWorks and that whole thing blew up. It got dropped and all that. So I'd been, you know, going through those phases of playing in bands and nothing worked out. And I was having a rough year. Uh, I think I turned 30 and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I happened to get sort of lucky and I got an audition with the Goo Goo Dolls and I basically things worked out and they said I had to move to L.A., which I really was not planning on doing. Um, but I thought this is a great opportunity. What have I got to lose? Um, so I came out, started playing with them. John Resnick at that time was doing a thing for Disney that Rob Cavallo was producing for uh, the film Treasure Planet. Okay. I barely had any gear at that point. You know, I had a couple of guitars, I had a Bogner amp, a speaker cab, a kind of a pedal board. Uh, I was starting to acquire some more stuff for the tour coming up. And I, I just landed in LA. I didn't even have a place to live. I was like, crashing in places like the band's like you know rehearsal place in north hollywood uh but to the point uh, long story longer uh <laughs> you're good you're fine so johnny resnick said hey uh man you know i want to bring you in on this thing i'm doing for this disney thing and have you play on it and uh that would have been probably late january about this time 15 years ago and we were at record one in uh the valley studio city i believe on ventura and I walk in with, you know, I've played on sessions in Chicago, some jingle stuff and my own bands, records and things like that. But like, you know, here I was in L.A. as a session player, you know, technically speaking, I wasn't really that yet, if, if at all. But uh, and I walk in and there's Abe Laboreal Jr. on drums in the control in the live room, Jamie Mohabrick on keyboards, Paul Bushnell on bass, you, Tim Pierce on guitar. And I know I knew who all of you were. No, oh, that's cool. Absolutely. You know, I had a lot of respect for all of you. And I'm, I'm kind of going, what am I doing here? You know, it was pretty wild. Uh, but uh, I have to say, you were so cool and you were really um, nice to me, which was good, a, a true blessing in a way, because, you know, those situations could go one way or the other, you know. And as it turns out, I think it went well. I think it was a pretty good session. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I felt yeah. like I could yeah. hang. Yeah. Positional, and it's still something somebody could sing over. So describe kind of your moves during that. Okay. I, I play the E chord. Yeah, we're in E major this time. We've been doing some minor stuff there previously yeah. in E, yeah. right? So I obviously I wanted to get like a fuzz, uh, like an infinite sustaining, almost ebo like fuzz thing, which yeah. I hardly ever actually use ebos. I tend to use either like a muff before the volume pedal into a delay okay. or just a cup. Like right now, I just have an OCD and the blues driver and it, together. It comes, it reminds me of Silver Sun pickups. It's that really pretty... Yeah. It's a beautiful sounding fuzz. It's that 60s yeah. kind of yeah. sound, really, yeah. too. Um, but when you add a delay in the end and you go to a neck pickup, it's it's you know it's very like yeah. almost... In a way, it's I'm trying to sound like a Moog synth. Okay. Right? right. Okay. So well, that's all harmonic stuff. Yeah. And then you go to the A. Outlining the A, yeah. and then I wanted to end it with a. And you go to the. So, so you're doing the relative minor. Yeah. And then I wanted to climb from there. Yeah. So, so over the C sharp, yeah, I, I, went, I went. And then over, and then the, the D. I think after that. First step 
Yeah, I had a friend who really, he, he had an observation that uh, I think is really correct. You have to have a really strong ego and create that ultimate part that right. you want. But when the, the person you're working with rejects that part or it doesn't work for them, you literally have to shut your ego off like a switch. Absolutely. But you don't. You can't walk in without a strong ego because they want that and you yes. have to have that and you have to come up with, and a lot of times that'll, that part will work, but you really have to shut it off. Well, I think it's part of having the, I think confidence is the right word, right? Okay. So having the confidence to know that if that one part's not working, you know you've got more in, in you yeah. than that. Yeah. And you just, it's just a matter of finding it and believing in yourself, right? <laughs> There's so many times when I've said yes, and I don't know what the heck I'm going to come up with. Oh, well, as, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, so, something like, oh, you want to, oh, okay, sure, and then. Uh, well, this, is, this is an interesting <laughs> exercise because before you start playing, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what it is, and I'm going, boy, I hope I have something. <laughs> <laughs> that too, right? That too. And you're like, well, let's just see what yeah. happens. And, yeah. But like you said, I guess you, yeah. you find yourself doing the things that typically work for you, which is like, okay, well, I'm going to build something that's kind of like yeah. somewhat thematic but simple, yeah. and it doesn't just repeat the same way each time. It's slight variations, nothing too crazy. We're not. Yeah. This isn't like yes, uh, you know. Yeah or you know prog rock kind of stuff we're trying to do we're trying to yeah. just create simple things that are memorable and fit the song right yeah. so yeah yeah but it's in it's interesting i'm always going like god yeah i don't know if i got anything else either <laughs> like this is gonna be so embarrassing but you say yes and in, in the 30 <laughs> seconds between you know Some, something something <laughs> so you, know, you find it at the end of yeah. the day right it's just yeah. music right yeah, right if we were operating on brains i'd be a yeah. little more concerned yeah. but thankfully we're not yeah we'll we live no it's it's not life or death. No. It feels like it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sure does. Well, thank you. And oh, let's thanks, do it again soon. Absolutely, right. man. Thanks, guys. Cool.